Hi, Mom. Hello. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm so happy to be sitting here with you to have this opportunity to just talk about you. You are the uh -oh. featured star today. And I not only want to talk about you, but I want to talk about your history, your parents, your grandparents, as much as you can remember and as much as you want to talk about. And the reason, one of the reasons I want to do this is because I think especially in today's fast-paced world, it's so important to have a good oral history of everybody we love. And it's, it's so important for our children and our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren to have this for years to come. So I'm just very honored and happy to be here with you. Well, thank you. I would love to talk about my grandparents, what Let, I remember. Well, let's start with that. I'd because go back as far as you remember. They were great. My grandmother and grandfather, my grandfather was very kind, calm, and read the newspaper thoroughly, was into politics when he came to this his country. Name? His name was Morris Podell. Morris, okay. And my grandmother was faster. She would move fast and get things done. Well, she had seven children to take care of, so she had to move quickly. And, but he was very concerned about everything. And uh, he did have glaucoma, and he fell down the stairs because he couldn't see. In those days, people did go blind from glaucoma. What did he do to make a living? He was a house painter. But oh, he used, to, he used okay. to put special little things, you know, he, I think he probably was artistic, you know, but special things, but he was very bright. He read the papers thoroughly and wanted to know what was going on. And uh, he was in the hospital. I went to see him, and I found a little, I was about nine years old, and I found a little brown, a little red purse. And I said, Grandpa, I just found it. What should I do? And he looked at me and he said, find his keepers. He <laughs> says, you can keep the little purse. And I'll never forget that. I mean, they were just wonderful. Do you remember stories that they told about coming to the yes. United States? I'd love to hear I about that. I remember when my grandmother came over and she said she was saying goodbye to her parents in Russia. Yeah. And she knew that they would never see each other again. It's unbelievable. And they both cried and left. Yeah. And they knew in those days there was no transportation. They knew they wouldn't see each other ever again because coming over on the ship was hard enough. And they went through Ellis Island. It's you hard know, to even imagine. It was, it was tough. The ship ride, you know? and it was a rough, rough time. And they came with two children. My, okay. My so mother was the first one born in this country. So when they came over... He evidently got a job as a house, house painter. House painter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. He was a good-looking man, and he was very concerned and kind and gentle. Mm -hmm. Really, I loved being with him. And Grandma Eva was one My, of, your mother was one of seven children. Yes. Right? So she was the third, third of seven? Third one of seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And so, in, in those days, we don't know how many they lost in between. That's true. We don't know. That's true. Yeah. It's hard for us in this day and age to imagine what it's like to have multiple children and lose some of them. Right. At, but at the this is the, they didn't have the things they have today to no. do to help people. No. My father's father was a big man. He was six feet tall and big and tough. Now, they also came over from Russia? They came from Russia. Okay. Okay. But he came over, he cut his thumb off so he wouldn't have to he go to the Russian the army. Okay. And what is his, what was his first name? Samuel. He was Samuel. Okay. Okay. And they came, he cut off his thumb so he wouldn't have to be in the Russian army. Right. And they came to this country and uh, he started a business, did mm -hmm. very well. Yeah, what kind of business was he it? He was in a knee pants business for World War I where they wear a certain kind of pants. Yeah. And he started the factory, and he did well. His, my father's mother died when he was 16, mm -hmm. so I never knew her. And he's one of four, four boys, right, in that family? My father, I don't know yes. my grandfather. My father my was father, one of yeah, four. Grandpa Nat yes. was one of four. Okay. And he, um, he was the second one of four. And they could afford, they took a trip to Russia when my father was three years old. Right. I remember my father talking about it, but he was too young to really understand much. And his next brother, Uncle Lewis, was born on the ship. And he became a citizen because they were three miles within the United States border. Ah. I mean, it was very interesting how things were in those days. Yeah. 